hello and welcome back to Everything Gaming. And today we are doing another Forzathon guide for this week's Forzathon, um, which wants you to use a GT car, any GT car of your choice, um, to complete all of this week's challenges. Now there are plenty of them to choose from, um, but I'm going to show you which one I used. Um, but there's also a couple of other really, really good ones in there. Um, but anyway, first of all, you're going to want to filter your cars to see which GT cars you've got in the first place. Now, like I said, there is quite a lot. Uh, the one I would have gone for is the Alfa Romeo uh, 8C Competition um, Forza Edition. Um, but I actually went for the BMW M6 Coupe. Now, the reason behind that is because not everyone will have the Alfa Romeo. Not everyone will have the Forza edition of the M6. So I just went for the standard one um, so that everyone can use it. And then I tuned it up. Um, my tune is called GT Forzathon, uh, and it's available for everyone to use. Now, the first challenge here just wants you to win two street scene events, uh, which are actually fairly easy. And the best thing is you can do it on whatever difficulty you want. So as you can see here, I've just filtered the map uh, now the one that I always go for is Bath and Gate um, purely because I just I just know it but you can go with whichever one you want and you can do the same one twice to win it or you can do two different ones it's entirely down to yourself now you must note that because this is a street scene race uh, you won't be up against necessarily other GT cars as you can see here I'm up against loads of hyper cars like the Pagani Zonda, Porsche 918, uh, Hennessy Venom etc but the good thing about this because it's a Forzathon it means you don't actually have to do it on a set difficulty you can do it on the easiest or the hardest it doesn't matter as long as you win the race uh, you'll have completed the first challenge which like I said is fairly easy and if you are struggling like I said, just lower the difficulty to get it done um, and save yourself the hassle. <laughs> it's probably the best thing to do, to be honest, um, especially when you are up against ridiculously fast hypercars. Now, the next challenge wants you to earn a total of 1 million skill score in your GT car. Now, trust me, this isn't as hard as you think. Um, but first of all, I recommend buying out all of the skill perks for your car, whichever one you've chosen. Now, the M6 Forza Edition has some really, really good ones, and I'd recommend using that if you have it. But like I said, I'm sticking with the M6 because I know it's widely available to everyone. So I brought out all the skill perks and then I went over to the Greendale Airstrip. Now the good thing about getting this 1 million skill score is you don't have to get it in one shot, even though I'm gonna show you getting it in one shot in the video, but you don't actually have to do it that way. Um, you can get it sort of over the course of the whole week or over a couple of days or within a whole day. You know, you don't have to get it all in one sort of actual score streak. Um, it can just be done and it will tally it up because um, it's just the overall of a million skill score so you can do a load of races in it and it will still tally up until you hit that million now obviously the multiplier on this m6 is times five so you need 200,000 skill score and then you can stop now i think the actual recording of me doing this was about eight minutes long uh, so it's not actually a lengthy task but make sure you have that second life perk because no doubt just like me um, you'll hit something <laughs> and you'll basically lose your score if you haven't got that perk whereas when you got the second life perk um as you just saw there i slammed into a trailer um when you got the second life perk it gives you that extra chance and it saves you the, the frustration and the fury of losing your skill score when you've got like a hundred thousand points um and then you have to redo it all over again so that's definitely what i recommend putting it into um and as you can see here at the end you just wait until it racks up to 200,000 or above um, and of course you can put on skill songs put on the radio see if a skill song pops up I haven't put that on because obviously copyright issues on YouTube but you might be able to get lucky and get one of them where the multiplier doubles to 10 or 12 I believe it is um, anyway the last challenge isn't so much a challenge um, all you have to do is drive 15 miles in your GT car uh, and as per usual for these challenges I just head to the motorway uh, as you can just go flat out and it'll be about 15 miles is probably about three two runs um of the whole motorway but again you can do this wherever you can do a load of races to rack up the mileage um or whatever you want to do but if you want to get it done very very quickly um and you've got a nice quick gt car that can sit happily above 200 mile an hour then the motorway is definitely the best place to do it because you'll just get it done 10 times faster. Uh, anyway, guys, I hope this video helped you out. Um, if it did, I would massively appreciate it if you could drop a like. And if you are new to the channel uh, and you're enjoying this content, please don't forget to subscribe. Uh, but last of all, a massive, massive thank you uh, for everyone's support. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. All the best and take care.